Now, Methodists, uh, one of the interesting things about Methodists is that we believe that baptism is God's work. Okay, so while you will see uh, me and, and those who help me uh, pr- dip someone under the water or sprinkle water on their head, we s- believe that that is an outward sign of the inward work that God is doing. Okay, so it's really God who is the one who is, who is doing this work of baptism. I just get to do kind of the external part. And so another thing about Methodists is that we believe that it doesn't so much matter exactly how a person is baptized, whether we sprinkle them or whether we submerge them. Occasionally it's done uh, by pouring. Uh, that, you know, there's a variety of ways that can be done. That that method is not what's central. What's central is the work that God is doing uh, in our hearts at that time. So today we're going to have some by immersion uh, in the baptismal pool. Uh, uh, but then we're, Shay is going to be baptized right here uh, because immersion is probably not the best plan right now since our, yeah, getting in and out of the pool might be a bit di- But there's no difference. There's no difference in the work that God is doing. Again, what I do is just the outward sign of the inward work that God is actually doing. So I think that that is so exciting. I'm so thankful for your families that you all have uh, decided to follow Jesus and to come together here to be baptized together. So I'll ask you all two questions. The first is, do you affirm your need for Jesus as your Savior? That means that you, like me and everybody else here, have sinned, have fallen short of what God calls us to, and so you need Jesus to save you. If so, say, I do. And second, do you affirm your need for Jesus as your Lord? That means the leader of your life each and every day. Do you want to live for him? If so, say, I will by God's help. Amen. Amen. And church, we baptize publicly for a reason, okay? The reason is that this is a community kind of thing, that God is at work here, but we also support one another. That's what the church is all about. So church, I ask you, will you be here to help support these families, to love on them, to be a good example of Jesus, to pray for them, uh, maybe to even get to serve with them, uh, to all these different ways, that w- things that we do that God uses to do God's work. Will you help to support them? If so, say, we will by God's help. We will by God's help. Amen. I'm going to take just a moment and pray over our water. God, we welcome your Holy Spirit here this morning. And we ask that you would just pour out your Holy Spirit through the waters of baptism this day. God, that I I give you thanks for this water and for those who will receive it. Lord, I pray that your Spirit would be at work doing things that are greater than what I could explain or even understand. Jesus, I thank you for how you are changing lives. I thank you for how you call us to follow you. And I thank you for these families that have said yes We want to follow you, Jesus. Lord, I pray your richest blessings on them as we celebrate their baptisms this day. God, we love you and pray this in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. So, Shay, let me start off with you. Why do you want to be baptized today? Um, (laughs) Sorry. It's okay. A little bit of stage fright here. (laughs) Um, Pretty much my... It's just fine. I've had a lot of lives <laughs> lost in that way. And the one time that I felt so much comfort was when I was here, and I had some people from here pray with me, and I felt this overwhelming sense of relief. And I realized from there, it was, this is what I need. It's not what I want. It's what I actually need. I need God to know that I'm ready to walk with him and I'm ready to live my life as he wants me to live. Amen. Amen. (laughs) And it's just fine to be emotional. Baptism is an emotional time. That's just fine. And we give you thanks. We give thanks for the work that God is doing in your life. Shailene, how about you? Why do you want to be baptized? Um, 
last summer when I got hit by a car. <laughs> I, did, I didn't really think about it at all. Because of how hard the car had hit me. And I thought I was going to be paralyzed from the waist down. And, um, and, and when I was at the hospital, I kept telling myself, he, uh, God's going to do what he needs to do to get me back up on my feet. And, and, and I, and I have, I have, I have found a church now that I have. I had helped me. Yeah. Amen. Amen. God has brought you through so much. <laughs> and we are so thankful for God's healing work in your life and so thankful that you're here with us and part of our youth ministry as well. That is such a blessing. So, and Shailene was telling me earlier she's been counting down the days still today. And uh, me too. Me too. Daniel, how about you? Why do you want to be baptized today? Um, cause, uh, I'm ready to open up my heart to God and follow his path. Amen. Amen. I think that is a exact reason to be baptized. Amen. Dennis, how about you? What he said? No. That <laughs> <laughs> was a good answer. That was. Uh, no, I've had a lot of tough times in my life and trials, tribulations like everybody, but it just feels so much emptiness at times and feel that dedicating myself to God will help. Amen. Amen. I agree. Amen. And Celinda? So not good with words, but um, I know that Jesus has me more than I can imagine. And I just want to publicly show that I want to follow him forever. Amen. Amen. I think those are beautiful words. Amen. Jesus is so good. And when we step forward and say we want to follow him, he, God honors that, and God changes our lives, and God fills us with the power of his Holy Spirit. And so it's not all by our strength, it's by his strength. So we're going to start right down here. So you've heard your confession of faith in Jesus Christ, and today it is our honor to baptize you. Today we baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. God, we thank you for Shay. We thank you how, for how you have brought her through difficult times of loss. We thank you for how you've been walking with her through every step of the way, God. And Lord, I pray that as she takes this next step forward in her faith, that you would bless her, that you would fill her with the power of your Holy Spirit, that your love would be all over her life, that when people encounter her, God, that they would encounter your love in powerful ways. God, I pray that you would bind up the brokenness and bring healing that only you can bring, God. Lord, we love you and pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Now, for the rest of us, we're going to go right this way. <laughs> 